Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of the OC Show. This is episode 18. Next to me is Tim. My name is Peter and welcome. So first things first, right, uh, there's going to be a Q&A next Sunday. Yeah, so just like every week we have a Q&A where you guys can ask us questions about this episode but also about topics that are outside this episode. So if you have any questions about the new released uh, hardware of the moment, things like that, just feel free to tune in. We will be live on Sunday 20th at 9 p.m. Eastern time. And this time again, we're going to try to have some cool guests on the show to talk about interesting things, which we will mention later in this episode. So keep watching. (laughs) Anyway, first things first, let's start with the competitions. There's a lot of competitions going to end this week in the next five to seven days. Uh, First of all, the Rookie Rumbles. Yeah, so the Rookie Rumble, that's our uh, competition for the new guys at Ashtaribad. And it's ending in five days, and it's not that much time left. Uh, right now, leading the ranking, we have Chili B from the UK with 127 points. Uh, we have Gator TPK from the US with 82 points. And then Fl- uh, Flesta Mode from the US as well uh, with 76 points. So uh, top ranking pretty much dominated, I would say, by the US, but UK in the front. So Pretty cool. Maybe Chili B is a new 8-pack. In the Novice Nimble, Kaukatland uh, Kau- 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 is once again leading the pack with 227 point overclock.net is a second with 214 points and then we have hardware ready OC team official from Italy in third place with 188 points yeah. I, I really hope that finally someone's able to beat Kaukat land in the novice nimble seems overclock.net is not that far and it seems also that uh, hardware locks from Germany is out of the f- out of the top three this yeah. week so we'll see um, Talking about team competitions, uh, we have the old school is best school round five still running. So this one is uh, still on socket three and Voodoo graphics cards. Voodoo, which seems to be still a problem to be kind of hold on. Uh, so most of the teams right now have no scores. Actually, all the teams, no team has a score in 3D for this round. So right now leading, um, we have the team from uh, Belarus, Belarus OC team with 25 points. We have Hard OC Chesh uh, with 18 points and Classic Blast Bomb with 16 points. So pretty much quite compact. Not that many pe- teams participating, but it seems to be hardware related. Speaking of classic platforms, we have to mention the Team Cup 2015, which is uh, reaching its closing phase actually this month. At, at the end of this month, all the stages will be closed. Currently number one is overclockers.com, followed by classicplatforms.com and then overclock.net. The top three is currently still within um, 100 points, mm-hmm. which is uh, yeah, quite a narrow competition. It's going to be interesting which of the three American teams is going to take the Team Cup victory this year around. Yeah, so you have until the end of the month to get your stuff together, like they say. Um, talking about competitions, now moving on to the sponsor competitions. We have a MSI uh, still running the MSI Godlike OC tournament. 3D and uh, this time also two parts ambient and extreme uh, leading the ambience uh, we have a uh, Raul's 009 from Peru uh, which I discovered is actually living in, in uh, Italy so okay. we're gonna try to get him as a guest on the OC show hint for this weekend um, so he has 68 point and is followed by a uh, Xobo Nex- uh, Nesox uh, from the US with 56 pounds and Nvidia forever from France yes with 41 points no one from Belgium in that in that league, sadly nope. enough. In the extreme part, we see that Dr. Wies from South Africa is currently leading the leading the pack. Dr. Wies has actually moved up the rankings in the, the Overclockers League quite a lot. Like he's very he's very he's very active. Then we have Pericha Bari from uh, from Montenegro and Dominator from Serbia finishing off the the top three. Yeah. So it seems uh, most competitions or uh, most yeah most of them are finishing in five days more or less. Keep in mind that also the challenger divisions yes. are finishing this month. So there's about 15 competitions ending in uh, in September which is which is massive like that like right yeah. for the before the end of Q3. Which brings me to what is coming next because right now on the schedule at OC Esports there isn't that much actually besides uh, the country park, the mm-hmm. country cup. So do you have any insights? Uh, the country cup <laughs> is going to be the major event of, of, uh, of Q4. Bear in mind that when we, when we make the schedule of the OC Esports in the beginning of the year we make sure that Q4 is open for all sorts of live competitions mm-hmm. because, we, because we know that a lot of vendors like to spend the last couple of marketing dollars of the year in the last quarter. And in Indonesia, the live competitions already started. 
Yeah, it's uh, booming. So right, uh, talking about Indonesia, indeed, we have the we had the AOCT 2015 uh, in Yogyakarta that started and kickstarted the season of the AOCT 2015. Uh, AOCT, which is uh, this very famous and infamous competition for its blacklist and its huge amount of amateurs. Uh, so they had the qualifiers. Uh, they had qualifiers. Uh, they call it auditions as well. Uh, they had the final and they had super finals as well as mini OC contests, which those ones are open for people that are not just amateurs and that are blacklisted. So they had pretty much something for everyone at that Yogyakarta event. It was all Skylake based on Z170. Uh, they had Gigabyte sponsoring as well as, of course, Intel and uh, MSI. So Gigabyte was providing the Z170 Gaming 5 and MSI was providing the Z170A Gaming M7. Cool. So there were some cool prices for everyone. Uh, I don't have the ranking, but we're going to put that into the editing. So. All right, cool. Well and done. Indonesia was also a second competition, and as we mentioned it in the last OC show, probably the only, the world's only AMD overclocking competition. It was at um, the Aliens Foria event, yep. I presume. I, I don't, I'm not aware of the entire details. It seems to be a trade show. So they were using a Richland uh, CPUs with the Ranger motherboard, cross, uh, yeah, cross, cross blade, blade Ranger. Ranger. Yeah. Um, we don't really know who won the competition yet. We just uh, yeah, I just it. got the slides and it's a quick pictures of the actual winner board. Um, so there's uh, not so much we can say besides they had 16 teams participating. Okay. Uh, they had a quick qualifier amongst them and then at the final was the six top teams. Uh, they used different CPUs for each, so that was interesting. And um, yeah, benchmarks mainly CPU based because you know, that's about it they could run, actually. That's pretty much that. Uh, probably there was a CPU frequency attempt in there as well. Well, yeah, highest clock from what I've seen is like 7.8 gigahertz. So, you know, it's, it's AMD. It's always that kind of interesting things we see, but usually that's also about it. And we're, we're talking about these are the local live events. Um, the first big live global event is coming up as well in uh, in December, I presume, from Galax. Yeah, so Galax every year does the GOC, which is the Galax OC Carnival, and it's a side event of their GEC, which is a much bigger event where they actually fill like a, a quarter of a stadium, almost half a stadium, and uh, so that's a gaming event. And on the side, last year they had this uh, this uh, last year and the year before as well they had this game uh, this overclocking competition. So they reserve a kind of a ring area. Um, this year is going to be mainly on the 980 Ti uh, Hall of Fame. There's a special version of the card available for purchase at about 1,000 US dollar. And uh, this actually, I'm using this topic to connect with our uh, Q&A of uh, Monday, or well, Sunday for you guys in the US, um, where we're going to have a look at all the 980 Ti cars that are pre-overclocked. So it's going to be a quite interesting episode. We already heard back from MSI that we are going to have a lightning card to show you guys. We're going to have some Strix cars from Asus, not the Matrix yet, but you know, it might come. Who knows? Uh, we're going to have... Um, some uh, Kingpin edition, uh, the classified Kingpin edition uh, graphics cards. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much about it. And of course, the Galax card, which is hopefully on the way tomorrow. So if everything goes well, we're going to have really a lot of 980 Ti's on this table. Cool. Should be cool to look with uh, with Neo what he thinks about the graphics card being a reviewer and all. He's actually tested the Kingpin card on LN2 last week for mm. a very long period and he, he had some interesting findings, pretty pretty interesting results. Yep. So next up, I need to say something about the X265 benchmarks. Yeah, there's, there's been a, some updates, right? Yeah, it, it went to um, version 1.2, which mainly have uh, has uh, improved security. And there's also, for those who want to use it in reviews, there's a batch mode. So you can use command line to say, you know what, run this benchmark, run these settings for this amount of time. OK, so you can make a script. Because there's pretty, uh, quite a lot of settings. I tried it out. And it's true, it takes a lot of time if you want to do them all. So if you can batch the whole benchmark, runs everything, stores the result, and done. Yeah, exactly. So you can find the link on HWOD and probably in the description of this video below as well. Um, the new version is mandatory as of today. We're recording this on a Monday. Okay. Should be released today as well. So. It was already released last week. Okay. You should update. I mean the episode. Oh yes. <laughs> so no, if you see that it's out, so you have to update right now. <laughs> it's probably too late. It's no. Well, yeah. <laughs> you need to update right now. Okay, awesome. Cool. So last big massive topic, the overclocker and focus. We uh, we edited in a little bit uh, at the very at the at the end of last week's I video. I think it was really funny. Uh, pff, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, overclocker and focus is a series of 
interviews we've done with overclockers during Computex. We've scheduled about 30 interviews for if every week you'll, you'll see, you'll find someone new. Yep. Uh, currently, we already have 8-pack, Dinos 22, Mean Machine, mean Machine Tullius, and the next episode, the next interview will be with Rich Bastard, who is the founder of HWBot. That might be interesting for those who want to know who is the face behind uh, behind yep. this website and this organization. So if you guys want to check out those videos, uh, check the video description below. I will put a link to there. And there's also the whole playlist on the YouTube channel, so you can go there and have all the interviews in there. Cool. I think that's about it for this episode. Make sure to uh, to tune in next Sunday and see Tim and Neo and probably another another guest explain you all the questions that you have, give answers, yeah. uh, show you the graphics cards, cover all of the topics that we've discussed today as well. So yeah. tune in.